Idiots versus Morons Argument proving that werewolves are idiots and vampires are morons. Short Humor Audiobook Written by Geronimo Lopez Soldevilla Any resemblance with reality is pure coincidence, any similarity with current events, people or places, living or not, real or fictitious, is mere coincidence and the product of a feverish imagination run amok on the part of the author. For best results use headphones, although it is not strictly necessary to enjoy the content. Let's start. If one starts from the reasoning that life is very short and idiots abound in life, then that little time would be wasted, if one intends to deal with idiotic people, since there are more idiots than time for them. Knowing then that life is a breath, you have to be an idiot, so that another idiot comes along, and has to bite you to leave you alive for life, and that you continue as an idiot dealing with idiot people. There is a proverb that says, the idiot shouts, the intelligent gives his opinion and the wise remain silent, werewolves shout, they do not give their opinion, and it is not that they remain silent, but that they cannot dialogue because they do not know how to speak, therefore, they are only idiots. To quote William Shakespeare, life is like a tale told by an idiot, a tale full of verbiage and frenzy, that makes no sense at all. Well, there is nothing more idiotic than a werewolf tale, told by an idiot versed in idiots and meant for idiots. Another proverb relates that, he who falls in love does not notice it, but soon after becomes an idiot, so to fall in love with a werewolf who is an idiot, is to be an idiot squared. It is also true that idiots do not last for money, so that werewolves never appear with money, first because they do not have pockets in their pants and second because they do not have it, and if they had it they would not know what to do with it, and the fact of not knowing what to do with the money means that the little money they have does not last long, which is a clear manifestation of being an idiot. If every day that dawns the number of idiots grows, when the full moon arrives the number has multiplied, and has done so, according to the time elapsed is called lunar month, which is 29 solar days, which is the period when werewolves go out, being able to discover in this, first, that they go out little to the street and therefore are complexed beings, and second, to observe that what they do best when they go out to socialize, is to make the idiot without complexes. It should be noted that there are not wolves in all parts of the world, so other animals are given a similar role depending on the type of culture that develops in the space where they live. For example, in the Western world a feminist movement is emerging that believes in pig men, in Africa they still believe in hyena men, when referring to Europeans, in other places they believe in chicken men as the culprits of the avian flu. In North America, skunk men are banned from elevators. Therefore, if pig men, hyena men, chicken men and skunk men are idiots why shouldn't werewolves be the same? Having made the case that werewolves are idiots, as are those who believe in them, it is equally important to note that vampires are morons and those who believe in them are even bigger morons, and even bigger morons would be to fall in love with a moron. This last assertion obliges me to prove that vampires are morons, or that only a moron can be a vampire, who knows. Let us begin by defining what it is not and we do so because things can be defined by what they are, that is, a table is a table because it is a table, but we could also perfectly well say that, a table is a table because it is not a buffalo, thus defining the table also by what it is not. Thus, a vampire is not spiritual because he has no spirit and if he had a spirit he would not use it for lack of spirituality, therefore, he is an imbecile without spirit. A vampire is not an entrepreneur, for that very reason, because he lacks spirit, and if he were, he would not undertake anything at all because he is an imbecile. A vampire is not a scholar, since he has not studied because he lacks alma mater, and he who does not study is an imbecile. A vampire has no conscience, and he has none, because he cannot see himself even in a mirror, and he who cannot see himself is an imbecile. 
A vampire has no morals because the only properties he looks for in others to identify himself are precisely the worst properties, and he who looks for the worst is an imbecile. A vampire is not a globe-trotting bohemian in search of events or happenings that provide him with new adventures, because his only intention is to always provoke the same old thing, and he who always seeks the same end for everything is an imbecile. A vampire is not a dreamer because he does not sleep, and he who never sleeps and therefore has never dreamed, is an imbecile. A vampire is not a little sister of charity because he cannot endure a different woman every day, and he who cannot endure having a different woman every day, even if he has to endure her, is an imbecile. A vampire is not a collector of women because he is not a little sister of charity, and if he was already an imbecile for not being a little sister of charity, he is also an imbecile for not collecting women. A vampire is not a leader because men hate him, and if he was already an imbecile for not going to school, he is more so for not having been trained as a leader in a competitive world, and even more so for being a hateful individual lacking in leadership, that is, the typical imbecile boss. A vampire is not a bus driver, even if he does barbarities that end in accidents, and anyone who throughout his life is dedicated to producing accidents by being a barbarian, is an imbecile. A vampire is not a plastic surgeon, even though he has as his natural market the vanity of women, and he who lives pending the vanity of women without being a plastic surgeon is an imbecile. A vampire is not a devotee because he cannot run for election, but since he was already an imbecile for not having a soul, he could perfectly well do so to exercise politics, and he who presents himself to the voters as a declared vampire for election is an imbecile. A vampire is not a hairdresser because he seems to get his hair cut by the social security, and to do that, you already have to be an imbecile. As far as what a vampire is, his identity and intrinsic defining characteristics, it is noteworthy to mention that a vampire is a perfect asshole because of the following. Because he neither seeks nor plays the difficult game with women, and thus verifies what it is like to have his blood really sucked while he feels his eyes gouged out with expensive dinners that they always leave half full, useless gifts that he does not even understand why he buys them, giving away apartments that they use to see each other with another younger and penniless man. Nor does the vampire have to pretend to tell women with the greatest of dissimulation that each one of them is, in particular his only inspiration in his profession and achievements, nor does he have to promise to give them a vulgar surname for their future children, nor does he enjoy making them jealous by leering at other women. On the contrary, he goes straight to the woman's body to suck her blood instantly, without emotions, without nerves, without worrying that the other woman will find out, without receiving insults or bad faces. That has no value, and since it has no value, he is an imbecile. He is an imbecile because he tells everyone the same thing that all men say, that he is lonely, sad, that he has been suffering for an eternity and that he is looking for the ideal woman who will be with him forever. He is an imbecile because when he seduces a woman, he does it hidden and alone in a place where there is nobody, being that he would not dare to succeed in seduction in a hamburger restaurant in the middle of a children's party with the husbands watching. He is a jerk because when he smiles, he only does it to show his canines. He's a jerk because he wears a uniform out of conviction. He is a perfect imbecile because men believe him to be immortal and with time to have as many women as possible, and women believe him to be beautiful and irresistible because they think he can be with them forever. And, in conclusion, to say that both idiots and imbeciles, or werewolves and vampires, would never agree because they are irreconcilable enemies who tend to confront each other at any moment as what they are. If you like the narration, visit my channel where you can find a variety of content and where I will upload more short humorous audiobooks. If you like the video give me a like, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive information from the channel and above all share. Thanks for your attention. End of video.